Our next guest, Pulitzer Prize winning uh, columnist Michael Goodwin, voted for President Obama in 08, but now he seriously is questioning the commander in chief's approach to the war on terror, pointing to his wave in Cuba and his tango in Argentina after the terror attacks in Brussels. His op ed read yesterday like this The people who want to be president understand the need to, to reassure a rattled public, yet the actual president is determined to let terrorists ruin his, not to let terrorists ruin his day. Joining us right now, Fox News contributor Michael Goodwin. Uh, Michael, because the president said he's going to keep on doing his thing because he doesn't want the terrorists to win. You think it's the wrong message? I do. Uh, look, I understand we don't want the terrorists to win, meaning we can't change everything we do about life, but I don't think that means the president has to act as though it's not important. And I believe that his antics in Cuba and Argentina suggested this was no big deal. And meanwhile, the, as I say, the candidates, including Hillary Clinton, all went out to try to reassure the public that to, to, to pledge. Uh, their determination to take out Islamic State, the president says Islamic State is not an existential threat to us. Well, what does that mean? I mean, it, how many people do they have to kill before the president feels yeah. it's a serious issue? He it, went golfing after James Foley was beheaded. After Benghazi, he uh, flew to a fundraiser. I mean, so this pattern is pretty clearly set now. Which is so interesting because he actually admitted a mistake after Paris. He said, I misinterpreted the anxiety within the American public as if we're, we're, we're immature children who needed to be reassured, not that we were, we were right, it's just that we were rattled wrongly. Here is Secretary of State John Kerry trying to defend the president's lack of action. You know, life doesn't stop because um, one terrible incident takes place in one place. Really? Uh, it stopped for a few Americans, didn't right. it? Well, that's the other point. I mean, Americans were missing in Brussels even as the president was dancing. And now we know uh, at, least, uh, at least four or five are dead already. So the president, I think, is, look, he has a clear purpose here, which is to downplay Islamic terrorism. He wants to treat it as everything from workplace violence to gun control issues right. to ordinary crime. He is not, I think, understanding and recognizing the severity of the issue of Islamic State. Fidel Castro uh, just said said this in an article, you know, the president uh, one had the historic visit there, first one since Calvin Coolidge. What has he done? Uh, well, here's the reaction. We don't need the empire to give us any presents. That's a little bit of Fidel Castro backlash, as if our, uh, President Obama's presence could force things to be inordinately good in Cuba. Look, uh, Cuba is a mess. It's a police state. Uh, people are fleeing as fast as they can. That should tell you everything. But by the same token, if we are sort of demanding nothing from them, and then the regime will stay in power and continue to oppress its own people. I got bad news for you, Michael. You got to join me again on radio to talk more about this. Is that all right? My pleasure. Okay. Uh